Hey guys, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a full tutorial on Thinkific. And we will be showing you how to get your online course up and running. And also, a great thing about Thinkific is that it is the only online platform to offer a completely free plan. And if you're just starting out with online courses, online coaching programs, or like membership sites, then I really recommend that you go and proceed with Thinkific's free plan. And what's great about this is that even in Thinkific's free plan, you're like able to create your own online course, your own website, and you're able to get things in place and not waste money. And you only have to like upgrade when you only need to do so. But everything included in today's tutorial will be within Thinkific's free plan. After you guys have finished signing up for Thinkific, this is what your main homepage will look like. And the very first thing that I advise you to do is to make sure your account information is all correct and all good. And to do as such, you're going to proceed over on settings. And the very first thing that you want to do is update your site name. And the site name is just going to be like the name of your online course or your online business. And please do double check the email addresses and you want to like make sure that these are going to be the emails that you want to use to communicate with your students or clients perhaps. And if you guys wish to edit your website URL then you can do so over here. And all that you want to do is to go over here and click on edit URL. And from this location, guys, you will be able to put in any URL that you would like to use. And then once you click save, your new URL will be up and live and running. And if you guys want to use a custom URL, then you would need to upgrade to a higher package on Thinkific. And once you're all done with your site settings, you want to proceed over on learning content. And over here, guys, you can change like the course player theme. And that is where you'll be able to customize your course player according to your aesthetics or what you like. So you will be able to switch around between a light and a dark theme. And over here is where will you be able to switch its primary color. So as you can see, we have this color set and that its primary color. So depending over on your brand and it just depends on what colors you like or in your palette, then you will make changes over here. And you always have the ability to change the font right here as well. And you guys want to make sure that you're uploading your logo so that it shows up in your course player. And if you guys have the need to change the language of your website, there is the option over here. And once you guys are done with your learning content, you want to start setting up your payment process. And to do so, you need to head over to payments and you just want to link your Stripe or your PayPal account. Now moving over to orders and accounts. That is where you'll be able to enable or disable Google, Facebook, or LinkedIn logins. And what that simply means for you guys is on your like checkout page, students will be able to log in or create an account through their Google, Facebook, or LinkedIn profiles. So if you guys like want to have that in, you can just leave it as is. And if not, then you can definitely take that out. And here is where you'll be able to upload your privacy policy and your terms of use. And once you guys are done making the changes, your account is now all pretty much set up and we can now proceed to creating your first online course and to do as such guys you want to head over to manage learning content and other courses guys you're going to click over on create new course and here you have like the options to create a blank course from scratch so if like wanted to do a pre-sell a mini course, a flagship course, or a webinar replay, or a membership resource library, then you could definitely choose from one of these templates that are available. 
and we recommend that you proceed with a flagship course template. And guys, for you to save like a lot of time when uploading your course content, you just like want to head over to bulk importer and you're going to like want to put all of your course content into like a folder and arrange them in the order in which they will just show up on your online course. So once you've created a folder, you're going to go over to that folder and select the videos in which you want to upload to your course. And once you guys have uploaded the content for your online course, just keep in mind that if your videos are long, they are going to take a little bit more time. But once the videos are all uploaded, you can definitely start formulating your online course. And if you guys need to edit like any of the titles or posts, all you need to do is click that title. So that is known as your chapter. And other your chapter, guys, that is your content on your post. And once you change the chapter, you would just go over to the content. And over here, you can make like any changes that you wish to do. And since that is like the first post, guys, you may like want to add an introduction to your company or offer and you may like want to add like some housekeeping rules some ground rules set whatever that needs to be shine on regarding your service and when you guys are editing there are a lot of options on things that you can do in your post so if you guys like wanted to add an image or you want to change the font or want to add a video you have the flexibility and the ability to do so over here on the text editor if you want to add an image, perhaps you would click the insert image. Same thing if you guys wanted to add a video or even if you like want to add an audio file, you can do so over here. And if you guys scroll all down under every lesson, there is a couple of options in which you can choose from. And one of those options, guys, are making this lesson a free preview. So guys, if you have like a paid course, but you want to leave a section or a lesson to be free to preview, then once you like click this option, that lesson and page will be free. Also guys, if you want to like enable discussions or comments, you would enable it over here. Just click on that. And if you want to delete and scrap the whole thing, you have the button to do so over here. And once you guys are done with changes, you can just click on save. And another thing guys, if you're uploading your videos through the bulk importer, you want to make sure that you guys are naming the video files, whatever the topic or the category is like, going to be. And that will save you like a lot of time when you're uploading your videos because Thinkific will grab whatever title it is and put it into the title of that lesson or page. And over on your video lesson guys, you can add a text if you like so if like want to add a description or something you can add that there and you can also add a pdf or any downloadable file that you would like to have and if you want to like rearrange your lesson guys then you would have to do is click on that lesson you can drag it and just move it to any chapter in which you would like it to be and if you guys need to add a lesson you just click over here on add lesson and you can see you'll have uh, several different options. So if you wanted to do like a quiz, a survey, an assignment, or even like a live Zoom call, you can do so over here. So for example, you want to do like a quiz. We just click over on the quiz button. And from here, guys, we can customize the name. And from here, you have like the questions over on the question box. And you would put the answers under the choices section. And once you guys are like pretty much happy with the quiz, you just click save over here and that will be added into your online course. And if you guys like want a preview of all the changes that you're making, you want to click preview and you're going to click course as like an enrolled student to preview your online course from the student's perspective. And that is what your online course would look like. So as you can see guys, we've changed the color and we're using the dark theme. And if you guys scroll over on the left hand side, you can see the chapters and the lessons in which you created in the Thinkific course player. 
and if for some reason any of the course material that you created isn't showing up when you preview your course, you may have it in a draft. So guys, all you have to do is to unclick this and click save. And from here guys, everything that's in the draft will be now alive and up on the online course. And if you guys preview again, you'll be able to see the introduction and the quiz in which we just created would show up now over on the course player. And you just want to like repeat the process guys until you finish your course. And once you guys are pretty much done and happy with what you're putting out, you're going to want to head over on settings and under the settings you can change the course name, course URL, the course image, and the description of the online course. Here you can just choose if you like want to go with the light theme or the dark theme. And that is what the course would look like with the light theme. And here is what you will look like with the dark theme. So what what preference or aesthetics that you have, you can choose that right within the settings of the online course that you have just created. And once you guys are done customizing, you're going to want to head over on pricing. And from here guys, you'll be able to set the price in which you want to sell your online course. And please know that you need to set up your Stripe and PayPal beforehand so you can put a price on your course. And once you have set up your price for the online course, you want to go ahead and publish the course. If you guys are not comfy posting it right away, you can definitely save the course as a draft or you can make it a pre-order in which customers will be able to pay for the course but it won't have access until a later date. Or you can publish the course completely and the students can enroll and access your course materials immediately. And as you can see guys, we went from not even having a Thinkific account to building a fully functioning and ready to sell online course. And that is pretty much it for today's video guys, so I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to like subscribe down below and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys!